this module, I'm going to show you how to create the data and save it to the server via Xamarin Forms. For this purpose, we need to send the POST request to the web API. So let's start our work. The first thing I'm going to do is just switch to the Visual Studio and inside this main page.xaml, let's move this code because this time I'm going to create a POST request. You can also add this to another page. Alright, so this time I'm going to add a stack layout as container and inside this stack layout, let's add an entry control and set the placeholder to product price and name this entry control. Just like that, add another entry and set the placeholder and name of this entry again. And then just add button clicked and set the text to whatever you want. And then simply create a button click event of this button control. Why I need these two entries? Because I want to post the data to the server via post request, just like we have done in the postman. For few minutes, let's switch back to the postman. Well, let's create the data to the server via postman. The first thing is to set the URL inside the postman and then just change the HTTP verb to post. And then in the body section, let's add a raw data here and select the application slash JSON. And when we send this request, then the new data will appear on the server. Let's check it. And here we go. The new data is present here. So it means that we need to pass this JSON as well as this application slash JSON from Xamarin Forms. So let's switch back to the Xamarin Forms application and let's create a new instance of our product class. And let's assign the entries value to the property of this product class. After this, let's serialize this product object because in order to save the data to the server, we need to send the data in JSON format. Just like we have sent the JSON in the postman earlier. This serialization comes from the Newtonsoft package that we have installed earlier. Have you noticed that whenever we need to send the data to the server via postman, we have to set the text type to application slash JSON. Same is the case with Xamarin Forms. But the question is how to set this in Xamarin Forms? Well, the answer is pretty simple. And we just need to call this string content and pass the value inside this. And let's store the result in some variable name as content. Basically, string content class creates a formatted text appropriate for the HTTP server or client communication. After this, Let's create a new instance of HTTP client and then this time we are going to use the POST request. So let's call the POST request and this POST request will ask you to pass the URL as well as content. So let's pass our URL and JSON content here. And store this inside the variable. Also this POST call works on the asynchronous task. So let's use the await before this call and make our function asynchronous. Now in the postman, if we enter the data in a right way, then a success message will appear in the form of some HTTP code. Well, in order to access this status code, let's add an if condition that is used to check whether your request is succeeded or not. If the HTTP status code is created, then simply use some display alert to show the pop-up on the screen. And here we go. Now it's time to run our application. Now you will see that our XAML layout with some entries as well as button appears on the device. And let's add some data inside these two entries. And as soon as I click this button, a POST request will hit the server. And then we will receive a pop-up that says the product has been added to the server. And if we jump to the web API and just refresh our page, then you will see that this new data just appears and we can now easily see that on our web browser or a postman. Well, this is all for post request. In the next module, I'm going to show you how to create a put request or update the data from Xamarin Forms. So see you guys in the next module.